guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Welcome to the next video in my Battle of the Drugstore series. Today we are going to be talking about highlighters. I know the past has been really, really hard to find a good drugstore highlighter, but I feel like lately the um, drugstore has just come out with some awesome, awesome highlighters, and I definitely have um, a few to share with you today, and also a couple duds. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The first one I want to talk about is by City Color, and this is their Highlight Trio. This retails for $7.99, so it's super, super affordable, and you get three highlighters. You get kind of a rosy toned, a champagne toned, and then a gold toned. Um, this you can't buy in the drugstore. You do have to order this online, but it is drugstore prices. It is extremely affordable. Here are finger swatches and on the back of my hand. So as you can see, these are absolutely gorgeous. I didn't have very high expectations for these, to be completely honest, when I first got them. Um, so I was very, very pleasantly surprised. I don't love the gold one so much. It's a little bit too yellowy for me, but the champagne one and the rose one are absolutely gorgeous, and I can definitely not recommend this guy enough, especially for the price, like $8 for three different highlights. That is a very, very good deal, so I would definitely, definitely recommend this one, and I really like the packaging. It's just simple and sleek, very, very thin, easy to travel with. This was a great, great little trio. Next one I wanna talk about is from Maybelline, and this is the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio Metallic Highlight in the color 100 Molten Gold. This highlight is absolutely stunning. Even just the presentation of this highlight, I'm really, really impressed with. I love when companies go above and beyond and do like the little imprints in the product. I just feel like it makes it feel extra fancy, extra special. And especially for a drugstore product, this guy retails for $10, um, which is not super expensive. I mean, it is drugstore, but it's getting up there a little bit. I do feel like drugstore has been raising their prices, but they are going, you know, above and beyond with packaging and things like that. So I'm not going to complain too much. And this has a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful formula. It is so opaque, so buttery and pigmented and just, whew, just gorgeous gorgeous. This is such a beautiful highlight. This really reminds me of Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. Let me actually pull that out and compare them for you guys. So here is Laura Geller Gilded Honey and then here is the Maybelline one. So as you can see, they are pretty much exact, exact dupes, but Laura Geller Gilded Honey is obviously a lot more expensive. Um, so great, great dupes for each other. Um, I definitely recommend the Maybelline one over the Laura Geller Gilded Honey just because it's so much cheaper and honestly just as good. So if you're in the market for a good gold highlight, I definitely suggest that. I think it's going to look absolutely gorgeous on everyone, especially if you do have darker skin. I think those gold highlights on dark skin just look absolutely stunning. So I definitely, definitely recommend the Maybelline highlighter. Next up is one from Physicians Formula, and this is the Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls. This one retails for $13.99. Physicians Formula is always a little bit on the pricier side of the drugstore products. I do like a lot of their products, but I do think that they're overpriced just slightly in my opinion. Um, I'm not crazy about this packaging. It is like a lot of Physicians Formula um, compacts. It's big, bulky, thick. Um, I'm just not crazy about it. I think that they could get it down a lot smaller. You do get a little brush with it on the bottom with a mirror. So I guess with the extra packaging, that's what you're getting. Um, but I honestly would rather not have that and just have a sleeker, thinner packaging. But here is what the highlight looks like. When I first used this, I loved this. I was really, really impressed by it. Um, but when I started to like get down a little bit farther, it just seems like it's an overspray, honestly. Like, the farther I go down, there it is right there. The farther I go down, like, the less highlighty it gets, if that makes any sense. Um, so I love the top layer. The top layer was gorgeous, and I was really, really excited about this. But the more I used it, and the more I actually got into the product, I feel like it's not as great 
on the surface as it is down below so that's a little bit of a disappointment let me know if you guys have tried this and if you've had that problem with this product as well I'm very curious to know so this one was kind of a miss for me next up is a little trio you get a highlight um, a contour and a blush in this I actually talked about this in my battle of the drugstore contour products I believe I'll link that video all my battle of the drugstore products will be linked down below but if you want to know what I thought about the contour then check out that video but today obviously we're just gonna be talking about the highlighter this guy retails for $6.99 so it is super super affordable and you're getting three products you're getting a um, highlight a contour and a blush so for the price definitely definitely awesome formula wise when you stick your finger in these they're super super buttery super soft really really pretty um, it's not my favorite highlight, but it's not my least favorite highlight. As you can see, it's pretty, but it's just not super, super pigmented. It's not going to give you that, like, blinding, you know, effect seen from space. Um, but if you like a subtle highlight, then you're definitely going to love this because it is very nice and subtle. It's very pretty. The formula is very nice. For the price, this is a great, great little trio. And something to jazz up, like a highlight that's not that pigmented, what I like to do is I'll take a liquid highlight and put it underneath and then kind of set the liquid highlight with that highlight just to give it a little bit more oomph. It just really helps kind of uplift the highlight and it looks really really pretty so you do always have that option to give the less pigmented highlight a little bit of a boost next one I want to talk about is from NYX and this is called the NYX illuminator and this is in the shade ritualistic I love the NYX packaging it's just all black super super sleek it's nice and heavy it makes it feel more expensive than it is let me open it up this is what it looks like I think they do have more colors in these let me look up the price before I forget okay so these retail for $8.99 and yes they come in five different colors this is the most like normal one they have like a peachy one a pink one and different colors like that but this is the most like neutral you know type one um, formula wise this is a little bit on the powdery side it doesn't drive me crazy it's not that big of a deal but it does kind of powder up a little bit um, but it's not a huge deal for the price it's not you know anything to really complain about the highlight itself is absolutely gorgeous the color though I'm just not sure for me personally if it's really me um, it's just so white but it's really pigmented and really gorgeous um, so I played around with this a couple times but I just wasn't sure how I felt about this on my skin tone but formula wise and pigmentation wise this is really really nice highlighter um, I am curious about the other colors I have another one from NYX so I'll talk about next so the next one from NYX is called their duo chromatic illuminating powder and this one is in the shade synthetica let me look up the price for this guy real quick so this one retails for $7.99 so it is a dollar cheaper than the other NYX one and again this one comes in five different colors so I wanted to try something that was a little bit different in color but not like super out there they have like a purple and a blue one but I thought this peach one might be kind of pretty again I think if you have dark skin that this is gonna look absolutely gorgeous on you um, formula wise this one is super super perfect like I love the formula of this I like it a lot better than this next one it doesn't kick up quite as much powder it's just really buttery and really smooth and the pigmentation on these are absolutely stunning like these are gorgeous and they're a dollar cheaper than the other one so I would definitely recommend this line over the other line um, but they're both really nice but as you can see this one is just so so pretty I love this and again like I said I wasn't sure about the color because it's like a little bit out there but if you go in with a nice light hand and blend it out I think it looks really really nice it's kind of just like a peachy gold and it's just it's just stunning so I definitely definitely recommend this one this one was definitely one of my top favorites that I tried and last but not least I have one from makeup revolution and this is their strobe highlight in the shade ever glow lights this one retails for six dollars again I'm not crazy about the packaging I hate how it kind of like 
bubbles up. It's just extra packaging that's thick and bulky that just seems unnecessary in my personal opinion, but not a huge deal. This does have a nice little imprint of like fun little wavy lines formula. Not my favorite. Uh, it's pretty powdery. There's not much pigment at all. Um, swatched looks okay, but it's just, it's not really a highlight in my opinion. I just, I feel like when I put this on my face, I just have to sit there and like build it up and build it up and build it up and build it up. And I just get not what I'm looking for in a highlight. Um, it just looks like white powder, honestly, to me. I don't know. Um, but this one was probably one of my least favorites, unfortunately. I was really excited to try these because I thought I had heard good things about them. But it just does not work for me. Maybe it's the shade I got. Um, but uh, yeah, I was definitely not, not a fan of this one. All right, so that is all the highlighters that I tried. If I had to pick a top two because I can't pick one I have to pick two my two that tied for first was the Maybelline gold one absolutely stunning and the NYX duo chromatic one both of these definitely definitely tied for number one for me they're stunning 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 um, I cannot say enough good things about them. If I missed any drugstore highlights that you think are just amazing and out of this world, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to know about them and I'm sure other people would too. Thank you guys so much for watching. All my other Battle of the Drugstore videos will be linked down below, so make sure you uh, check those out. And next I'll be doing Battle of the Drugstore brow products, so that'll be a really fun video. So uh, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.